In this video tutorial, we will learn special formulas. This is part three of our tutorials on divisibility of binomial, uh, of this binomial by this binomial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will learn is binom binomial x to the power n plus a to the power n divisible by x plus a. We will learn that in some cases we have a divisibility. Uh, we will use uh, Bezout theorem to prove it. And result or quotient of this division will be another polynomial with degree n minus 1. Like us and subscribe and let's get started. Um, let's uh, give a natural question. Is, is a polynomial p of x, which is x to the power n plus a to the power n, is this polynomial divisible by a binomial x plus a? Uh, answer is yes, but but n n must be odd, must be odd. Odd, I mean it must be one, three, five, seven, and so on. Not even numbers. Uh, how to prove it using uh, using using Bezout theorem using Bezout theorem uh, since since this binomial x plus a can be represented as x minus minus a if you don't know how to use Bezout theorem watch our previous tutorials watch our playlist and you will understand everything in this tutorial uh, since x plus a is equal to x minus minus a, uh, we calculate of our polynomial p of x when x is equal to minus a. It will be the polynomial at the point minus a, which is, which is, um, we have two cases. which is minus a to the power n plus a to the power n. And uh, when uh, here, it will be equal to when n is odd, when n is odd, it will be minus a to the power n. And and when n is even, not odd, it will be a to the power n. So uh, the result will be a 0 uh, when n is odd. And when n is even, it will be 2an, which is not 0. That's why the only case when we have a 0 here, and by Bezu theorem, remainder of after division will be zero, so we have exact uh, divisibility of our polynomial by this binomial uh, when n is odd. All in all, when n is odd, our polynomial is divisible by this binomial because we have here zero or the value of our polynomial at the point x equal to minus a is zero. This is using of Bezout theorem. Uh, next, let's, let's write our representation because we have exact division for different n. Assume n is three. 
in this case, x to the power 3 plus a to the power 3 um, is equal to x plus a times uh, some polynomial of degree 2. Uh, since this polynomial is divisible by this po polynomial, we have this representation. And the quotient or this polynomial uh, can be found using manual long division. Watch how long division is done. Just divide this by this and you will find, you will find this. But I will give you the rule how to write it. Here we will have, since this is the polynomial of degree 2, this will be x to the power 2. Next member will have a with a bigger degree and x with smaller degree. Next, it will be a to, with bigger degree, a squared, and x with smaller degree, x0, which is 1. Next, we write minus and plus. This was formula for n3. Let's write formula for n, which is 5. So x to the power 5 minus a uh, plus a to the power 5 will be equal to x plus a times uh, our quotient polynomial will be degree of 4. So we write x to the power 4. Uh, next will be a x to the power 3. Next it will be a squared x squared. Next it will be a cubed x and next it will be a to the power 4. We write minus plus minus and plus. So this is formula for n which is 5. And let's write our formula um, for general n. For general n it will be x n plus a to the power n is equal to x plus a and quotient polynomial will be the polynomial of degree n minus 1. It will be x to the power n minus 1. Next member will be a x to the power n minus 2. Next it will be a squared times x to the power n minus 3 and last and so on and last um, member will be a to the power n minus 1. We write here minus, plus, minus, and so on, and plus. This is the general formula uh, for representation of xn plus an. Since it's divisible by x plus a, we have a representation of x plus a um, times some another polynomial with uh, degree n minus 1 which is found after division of this polynomial by this polynomial. Um, these formulas are very important and you have, to, you have to watch these tutorials to use it when you solve algebraic uh, equations and uh, um, another algebraic problems. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Like us and subscribe.